Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're counting down some of the most awkward and evil tech fails that will make you cringe, laugh, and maybe even question some company's decisions. Buckle up, because we're diving into some of the biggest tech blunders ever made. The air umbrella was an innovative concept, an umbrella that uses air to deflect rain, but in practice, it was too noisy and had a short battery life. Plus, instead of staying dry, you'd end up soaking people around you. The product never made it to market, and backers were left out in the rain. Laundroid promised to revolutionize laundry by folding clothes with AI-powered robotic arms. The reality? A $16,500 machine that couldn't even handle folding a black t-shirt. After raising millions, the company folded, without delivering a single unit. Nokia wanted to showcase the Lumia 920's image stabilization with a flashy ad, but they faked it by using professional cameras instead of the phone. Once viewers spotted the deception, Nokia had to apologize, tarnishing the phone's reputation. Google Glass was supposed to be the next big thing in wearable tech, augmented reality glasses, but it quickly became a symbol of tech overreach with privacy concerns, poor battery life, and an awkward design. The product was discontinued after public backlash. Juicero, a $400 smart juicer, was supposed to simplify juicing with pre-packed juice bags but when it was discovered that you could simply squeeze the bags by hand without the machine, the product was ridiculed online and the company shut down within two years. Samsung's Galaxy Note 7 made headlines when its batteries started catching fire. Despite multiple recalls, the problem persisted, forcing Samsung to discontinue the phone entirely, resulting in one of the biggest product recalls in tech history. Amazon tried to compete with Apple and Samsung by releasing the Fire Phone. However, its confusing interface, high price, and lack of app support led to its rapid demise. The Fire Phone flopped, costing Amazon millions. Microsoft's Windows Vista was supposed to be the future of operating systems, but it was plagued by slow performance, constant compatibility issues, and annoying security prompts. Users hated it, and Microsoft quickly moved on to Windows 7. When Apple launched its own Maps app to replace Google Maps, it was a disaster. The app gave incorrect directions, misplaced landmarks, and had entire towns in the wrong place. Apple had to issue a public apology, and many users reverted to Google Maps. HP launched the touchpad in an attempt to compete with the iPad, but it failed to attract buyers due to poor app support and a clunky operating system. Within 49 days of release, HP discontinued the touchpad, slashing its price to clear inventory. Google Plus was meant to challenge Facebook, but its confusing user interface and lack of engagement led to its slow death. Google tried to integrate it with other services, but users rejected it. In 2019, Google finally shut down the platform. Amazon's Dash buttons were physical buttons you could press to reorder household products. The idea didn't take off as expected because users found it easier to reorder online. Amazon quietly discontinued the product in 2019. Facebook Portal a smart display for video calling, was launched at a time when users were deeply concerned about privacy. People were wary of having a Facebook device with a camera in their homes, and the product failed to gain traction. Nintendo's Virtual Boy was one of the earliest attempts at virtual reality gaming, but it was a massive flop. Its red and black graphics caused headaches and nausea, and the device was discontinued after less than a year on the market. Microsoft's Zune was designed to compete with the iPod, but it lacked Apple's ecosystem and had fewer features. The Zune never caught on, and Microsoft eventually discontinued it in 2012 after several failed attempts to revive it. The Segway was supposed to revolutionize personal transportation, but it never took off the way its inventors hoped. Its high price and limited usefulness made it more of a novelty than a serious mode of transportation. Google Wave was meant to reinvent email by combining messaging and document collaboration. Unfortunately, users found it too complicated to use, and it was discontinued just a year after its launch. Apple's butterfly keyboard, introduced in their MacBook lineup, was so thin that it frequently malfunctioned, causing sticky or unresponsive keys. After widespread complaints, Apple eventually replaced it with a more reliable design in 2020. Theranos promised to revolutionize healthcare with a device that could run hundreds of tests with a single drop of blood. However, the product never worked as advertised, and the company collapsed amid accusations of fraud. 
resulting in the conviction of its CEO, Elizabeth Holmes. Google Stadia was Google's ambitious attempt at cloud gaming, allowing users to stream high-end games without a console. But poor latency, lack of game selection, and competition from established platforms led to Stadia's failure, with Google announcing its shutdown in 2022. Which one of these tech products do you think had the most potential but failed to deliver? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my next one, where we explore the intriguing question, who is the real Bill Gates? Click the link and let's dive into the mystery.